Welcome back, everyone, and I'm here again with our very own SBR contributor, Jeff Grant, and today we're going to be covering that college football game between the Kent State Golden Flashes and the Bowling Green Falcons. How are you doing today, Jeff? Absolutely fantastic, Dax. Week 12 of the college football season, and we have two teams going in opposite directions in this in-state rivalry. All right, Jeff, so with the Golden Flashes, they're, they're actually still trying to get that first MAC victory of the season under second-year head coach Paul Haynes. So with that in mind, my man, what type of effort can we actually expect to see from Kent State at this Wednesday night? I think sports bettors should be confident that the Golden Flashes are going to come with trying to pick up a victory in mind because I've watched the last three or four weeks of press conferences with Paul Haynes due to the fact that we cover these MAC games uh, early on in the week in these videos, Dax, and Haynes seems confident that his locker room is going to show up with a great effort. And it's also important to point out that he's a for, uh, former alum of the school. So I think that's important that he's going to be invested in Kent State. And also, sports bettors need to uh, take into account that this team has had a lot of players gain experience this year, 20 different players making their first starts, 10 on the offensive side of the ball and 10 defensively. All right, man, and how about Bowling Green? I mean, they only need one more win out of their three games remaining on the schedule to earn that spot in the MAC title game. But aside from that, I mean, do you actually think that the Falcons are good enough to actually cover that uh, double-digit spread at Perry Stadium? That's, the, that's the, the key to handicapping this game is if Bowling Green is going to be motivated enough just needing one more win to reach that MAC title game. They've dominated East Division opponents. They've won 11 straight games against such foes. They've also won their last six November games, outscoring opponents by a 224 to 34 margin. But this team's defense isn't as good as it's been in previous years under first-year head coach Dino Babers. They have turned around their season, but I'm just not sure. I don't like laying double digits with a real bad defense, and Bowling Green has not been up to the mark thus far in 2014, despite its winning record. All right, so should we be considering taking the points with the Golden Flashes in this case then? I'm going to go with the Golden Flashes, Dax, because I really liked what I saw last week against a very capable defense in Toledo. They've gained a season-high 171 rushing yards. Uh, also, 3-0 and against the spread as underdogs of 10.5 to 21 points over the last two-plus seasons. That fits nicely with the betting trend of Bowling Green being 0-2 against the spread against conference opponents when hosting teams at Perry Stadium. So I'm going to grab the points with Kent State over Bowling Green. All right, Jeff, thanks once again for all the valuable insights, my man, and we'll talk again tomorrow. Thank you. And for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round, a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.